Hey, what's up y'all? This is Lewis Lewis Speaks 2022 and today I want to talk to you all about the power of positive affirmations. You know, in the past, I once thought of positive affirmations as a bunch of mumbo jumbo, a bunch of clinical jargon that therapists use to kind of just, I guess, get more billing, you know? Um, but I now realize that positive affirmations are definitely essential as you journey in this life because so much of this world is rooted in negativity. So much of this world is rooted in negativity. And I realize that positive affirmations work to undo all the negative programming that this world tries to put into your head. All the chaos, all the internal scribble that this world tries to create in your mind positive affirmations help undo that. And I also think the purpose of positive affirmations is to affirm what we already know within ourselves. Deep within ourselves, we know that we are whole. We know that we are all, you know? And this world comes along and tries to make us feel like we're not enough. We're not sufficient. We're somehow damaged and just insufficient. And that's a lie. That's a lie. You know, when you look at the magazines, when you look at the propaganda on TV, when you look at what's being sold to us in the newspapers, it's always something to take us away from ourselves. Always something to make us feel like we're not enough. And so I've gotten in the habit every single day of telling myself, Lewis, you are enough. You are more than sufficient. You have everything in you that is powerful. You have every ingredient of happiness deep within you. You are the solution. You are the quotient. You are the answer. And when I constantly tell myself these affirmations in the mirror, I start to realize that my mood changes. I start to realize that I feel confident. I start to realize that, you know something? I can trust myself again. Because I also think this world wants you, it wants to talk you out of your trust, your self-trust. It wants to make you doubt yourself because when you doubt yourself, you're easier to control. And I think that people in general, there are a lot of people out there who are possessed by demonic influences and they wanna make you feel like you can't trust yourself like you somehow are seeing things incorrectly. You know, there's such a term as gaslighting, oftentimes perpetuated by narcissists, where they want to deny your reality. They wanna make you feel as though you're somehow seeing things incorrectly. When the reality is you are seeing things correctly, you just have lost track of your faith in yourself. And I think that many of us have lost our faith in ourselves as a result of so much, you know? Media, television, phone, social media, everything. And all, also, let's face it, filters and all these, these, these devices to make us look a certain way and sound a certain way. It's just making us feel like we're not enough. And that's why you have to return to your positive affirmations and you have to say to yourself, look, I am more than enough. I am indestructible. I am impenetrable. Many will try to undermine me, but I already know who I am. I am self-assured. I am confident. I am strong. I am willful. I am intentional. I move with intention. I am phenomenal. I am a force to be reckoned with in this world. I am a light. I shine and I illuminate all of the dark paths in this world. I am a threat and I am dangerous. I am dangerous in a good way. I am a good trouble. I am strong. I'm capable. I am pure. I'm righteous. I love doing the right thing. I move with integrity. I have a billion dollar mindset. And constantly 
playing these tapes in your mind helps to undo all of the psychological chaos that this world tries to inflict upon you. Because I'm going to tell you, huh, this world can do a number on you. It can really make you doubt yourself. It can make you feel like you're just nothing. But that's a lie. That is a lie. And when you realize the lie and you also realize the purpose behind the lie, why do they want to sell this lie? So that way your mind is easy to control because if you control somebody's mind, if you control their thoughts, then you control their actions, you control their feelings, you control everything, their behaviors. You control them. That's why I realized don't let negative people take up space in your mind. Why? They don't pay you rent. They don't feed you, love on you, or finance you. So why are they taking up space in your mind? Why are you allowing them to? Because you can evict. You can evict them from your mind. You have that power. Your mind has that power to evict these negative people out of your mind. Because all they want to do is fill your mind with negative affirmations. Things that take away from your good feelings about yourself. And that's why you have to replenish and replace that negativity with positivity. Reminding yourself who you are. You know, oftentimes when we're lost, we look to our family and our friends to remind us of who we are. And that helps bring us back. You know, many of us are out here with either limited friends or limited family. And so you have to remind yourself who you are. And that is what positive affirmations do. They remind you who you are. They bring you back to yourself. They bring you back home to who you are. Because so many of us are lost out here spiraling in these webs of confusion. But these positive affirmations, they just return you back home to yourself. And so I encourage you to definitely make a list, at least 10 positive affirmations to start. And you go to your mirror and you look deep in the center of the, your eyes, in the nucleus of your soul. And you look in your eyes and you say those 10 positive affirmations to yourself. And you remind yourself that you are everything you need to survive. You're everything. You are a wonderful person. You have gifts that are extraordinary. Your heavenly father, your divine source of light and inspiration has endowed you with gifts and has built within you his light. And so when you have that inside of you, you have no choice but to radiate it out. You know, the fact that you even have a will to live and a will to survive, that indomitable will to survive is proof of God's existence. You know? It's proof that something higher than ourselves is here. You know, there's something in us and it doesn't even have sometimes a name or a source, but we just have it in us to live and to fight for life. And that right there is proof of God's existence. Just by the sheer nature of our, of our motivation to keep on going, you know? When you look at somebody who is smothered by a pillow, they're fighting for life, fighting for life. Why? They're fighting because they want to live, you know? And so we are a people in general. I know that me personally, I can speak for myself. I am a person that wants to live, that enjoys the beauty of life, that wants to shine my light and use my light to help build other people and help light their candle. I think that's the purpose of everybody on this earth is to take your light and to continue to light those who need that replenishment. Because tell me something, who adds light to the flame? The flame sometimes gets tired of burning alone. And so it needs the light source of other flames to help keep it burning. And I think that's our purpose. We are all light and we are here to help light each other 
on fire and help us live our purpose. And not in a bad way, like, please nobody, please don't light nobody on fire, okay? Please do not take that literally. What I'm talking about is using your inspiration to build and ignite the inspiration of other people. So, once again, your affirmations will definitely help undo all of that psychological noise in your head that continues to go on repeat. So if you love yourself, and I know you all do, I know there's love there. I know this love. And like I said, I know that you have love. You are love. You are love. You are a reflection of God. Therefore, with that being said, you must light yourself and continue to build yourself and add fire to your light. How to do that? Positive affirmations. I hope this video was helpful. Definitely share some affirmations that you use too because I'm definitely interested in knowing what keeps you motivated, what keeps you strengthened, especially in these times. So thanks again for listening. Peace, y'all.